salt, and light. It is these two essential parts of life that we, as Christians, are called to mirror. The way we live, just like salt, should preserve and season. And just like light, should bring comfort, warmth, and life to those we interact with. But how often is this the case? When we are face to face with depravity, how often do we run in fear of that which Christ has already conquered? Worse still, how often do we stare into the obsidian void of sin, deny the light within us, and partake in the darkness? What kind of picture of the gospel does this paint? We must bear fruit for the glory of God. We must love the hurting and broken around us, unencumbered by false gospel or broken signals of virtue. We are called to actively radiate the light of Christ to a broken world. We are called to bring the preservative power and joyful flavor of salt to those who are dying in sin. We are called to be salt. We are called to be light.